this is the finish line of uh, our simple downloader and parser after the function which gets the caption we need to get the copy of course so it's going to be pretty much the same again we're checking if we have some contents good building the tree and then we will set the URL and uh, let's see what's the XPath so here we have like this XPath with the div, id, comic, img and title and if you remember like the source was exactly what we need this is the URL to the image that we are going to need. So again, don't forget about string because it's going to easy your life. Easy your life. And and now we need to perform the download. But the download, so far as you remember, it has some default parameters which we will use right now. This is this is going to be the image name and setting that explicitly that it is an image. So image oh the image name is going to be the title i think so and um, is image is going to be true or you can explicitly say is image equals to true okay so far so good let's make some changes to our mm, get current comic because right here we want to also get the title and also we will get the caption and the comic of course pretty much the same we will be doing for our random function get random comic so okay would be Okay, this is not the best way to do it, because now we will have just some copy-paste code, but just for, um, just to serve as an example. So what are we going to do? First of all, we need to check if we have this um, variable last comic number. And if we do, we can generate a random comic number. Well, for that you need to import, import the random module good and now we can use a function which is called rand integer it will um, return an integer between the first argument and the second one so it's going to be between one and last comic number good and also here we're going to build this url using this number so one part is going to be this basic URL which we have. Okay, let's copy it. Mm, where were you? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, we're here. Good. And plus the mm, this comic number which we have generated, but don't forget to convert it to a string. Okay, good. And now it's going to be again those things. Okay. Whoops. set up the indentation and I think we are done we are done yep we just need to test it so get random comic there is a drawback here because um, you can't you can't call random comic before um, calling the method get current comic because the um, last number won't be set so maybe it would be a better idea to set it like it's a really separate thing which which should instantly like be be done before any parsing or downloading starts but anyway let's see what do we get um, okay so we got some <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> okay, we forgot actually to download it. <laughs> Funny enough. Okay, now let's try. Yay, we have math paper. Let's see what it looks like. We have math paper. By the way, there is no extension, so if you want, you want to, you can add like a PNG or JPEG, or it's the best way to read the headers and to see the content um, returned from the server. So this is it. We are done. I hope you are satisfied um, with your results. You have learned a little bit about URL lib, about regular basics, about regular expressions. Uh, and a little bit of XPath, so now you have some extra extra tools. Good luck. Hope uh, hope you enjoyed it.